A 98 Sunline just came in on trade here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. I mean, it's a 98, but it ain't bad. It's really not terrible. Um, if you want to see if we have it in stock and available, click the link in our video description. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, she's perfect. It's never had a problem, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not, no, not for, we're like, what, $4,000 or something on this, but it's not bad. It's not a moldy, waterlogged piece of junk. I can see where some people actually put a little money into it. Like I can see that they put an updated antenna up there. Um, little somebody welded a receiver hitch onto the the back chassis here, so that could be good for uh, like putting you know some big heavy bike racks or something back there. For 98, you could really, really do a lot worse. And it's only got very minimal like uh, weather scarring of decals and stuff. It's it's pretty minor. All in all. She has held up to the test of time pretty well. Now, awning here has definitely been replaced at some point. That is like a brand new awning fabric. Sometimes that's kind of the thing that'll prompt something like this to get traded in. People will come here, they'll visit our service facility and have such a good time at Halet RV, they're like, well, I don't know, maybe I could entertain the idea of swapping up and getting newer. Um, the uh, awning clearly covers both doors. This is a dead giveaway that at some point somebody had a full screen room on this, though I haven't located any of the hardware for that. Now this is just a chunk of carpet that they cut to size to kind of fill back here. It is actually uh, uh, you know, full um, linoleum back here in the living area. Even all the like original owner's manuals and stuff, that's just crazy uncommon. Now the microwave had been replaced at one point, so that's why you don't see a microwave there. You'll actually um, you'll see the, uh, you know, aftermarket microwave, which is loose uh, installed, not like actually bracketed in place here in the shower for transit purposes, because uh, <laughs> obviously a microwave in the shower is not exactly up to code. Anyway, <clears throat> looking around, I don't really see anything that makes me think, oh boy, it's had a big, bad, scary leak here, there, or somewhere else. And looking a little further... I start looking into the, the soft goods, the upholsteries, and beyond the, the floral print, I mean, it's it's extremely nice. All of the coverings and everything are really nice, and these are the original factory ones because those go with the, like, the shades and things. So there's a lot of original interior aspects here that are, that are pretty sharp. I don't know if somebody just had this thing really long term or if they bought it from somebody who owned it originally and then they did uh, a couple little updates and said, you know what, we like camping, we could go brand new or whatever the case may be because that's what they ended up going brand new, I think. Um, this is a floor plan that is not unlike things that are produced in the market today. If you kind of like the flow and the layout of this but you're not looking for something quite this old, take a look at a 246 RKS Coachman Freedom Express available here at Halet RV. Basically, it's the same layout, except you're going to get a slide out over here. Um, this is a sharp layout, actually. I kind of like, this is really the version of that Coachman 246 that existed before the Coachman 246 existed. This is its grandfather. I like seeing the, I don't know, history of the RV business, and you get to sometimes actually witness the, the evolution of it here and there. So this has a very space-efficient walk-through middle shower. That creates uh, a lot of privacy for the front bedroom, uh, especially at night. Like if you have, say, like a grandkid on the uh, the, the height of bed or something like that. <clears throat> um, the uh, now I think maybe because I'm noticing linoleum in the living room that you can see right there. We got a carpet here, and then we've got a reddish carpet there. That looks to be the original factory carpet. And when I was standing right in front of the sink right here somewhere. There's a slightly soft spot, so I don't know if maybe after winterization they had a small, brief, like, spring leak or something like that. Because it doesn't, I mean, the floor's pretty solid. I've walked all over it, and it took me a minute even to find that spot. I think the, I, I, don't, I don't know if maybe they just had a little hiccup or something like that, but it's interesting to me that they put a piece of carpet here in just the bathroom that doesn't match anywhere else. But, 
Eh, no big deal. I mean, the camper's still fine. This is a full 60 by 80 residential replacement pillow top mattress. So uh, you can put a full bed in here and you can get normal sheets that actually fit it. Big windows right here. And that second entry door into the be uh, bedroom lets you kind of come and go and like if the grandkids are sleeping over maybe, they don't get blocked into the living room. So who's this camper for? Normally something this age, I don't say, hey, first timers, I got a camper for you. But hey, first timers, I got a camper for you. If you folks have never camped before, if uh, you're looking for something that's, you know, simple, effective, fun, but uh, if you don't like camping, something that's not going to break the bank, this might be a winner right here because this has been well kept. I don't think you're going to have to like do a lot of wrenching on this. I think that you could have this for one or two years and I think you could flip out of it provided you take care of it for about whatever you put into it. Oh, they even upgraded it to a power tongue jack. So you get like a $300 tongue jack on the front of this thing and a new awning. This is, you know... The more time I look at this, the happier I get with it. This is a nice piece. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Goldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Happy camping, everyone. Hmm, this is a pleasant surprise.